hell are you? Thank God you got the coordinates. I would have been there myself, but we're low on fuel. Didn't know how many people we'd be able to lift out. Listen, don't ask the pilot any questions. She's here to help. The less you know, the better. Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to discuss Fear the Walking Dead. Will CRM be the season seven villain? Ooh, and that is a very good question because with what happened at the end of the finale, will is one question is, will Isabel defect from CRM? We have CRM now. So we got to see Daniel. We got to see Wes, Sarah, Charlie, and the Rabbi Jacob, and Luciana all saved from Al, who made contact with Isabel off screen. We She didn't travel with Isabel because of the amount of people that you can fit in a helicopter. You never got to see Isabel's face, but we, is, we know it's her. She's still covering her face just so she can still be in secret. What's funny is they were you like, know? she was like, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. <laughs> Every, everything will be explained. Where? Where are they going? Yeah. What has Isabel told Al? What is Al found How out? How did Al get a hold of Isabel without getting a hold of CRM? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, well, this isn't a scenario yeah. where you can just radio Isabel and hope that she's no. picking up on your signal and no one else is. Like, I'm thinking Al probably picked up radio traffic and maybe met went, her at her drop site. Met her at one of the drop sites. Now, she probably had to stay at a distance to make sure that maybe Al or make sure that Isabel didn't have another partner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the, Isabel caps another one. Yeah. <laughs> right. So to make sure Isabel was alone. So yeah. I, I would I hope they get into how that happened. So um like we said before, the showrunners want to continue doing the anthology type stories in season seven. So I would love another episode dedicated directly with Alan Isabel showing how exactly she found her. Yeah. I definitely want to see it. So as, and, and like we said, the finale doesn't go into details as to how they met. You know, bringing Isabel in, you know, in in like that was, you know, more of shock and awe, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there was no, it didn't fit, in other words. Right. It didn't fit. And their showrunners have said, I mean, they and even Scott Gimple have said, they're not going to go too heavy with CRM in the other shows. They don't want to do that. But we are going to get sp- sprinkled in with certain details, but they're not going to focus on it like they will it's going to be in world beyond and rick grimes it's a bit that that kind of um but the more you sprinkle it in the more we want to know more exactly but but to 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 just add to that mm-hmm. like why right like <clears throat> world beyond only has one more season yeah i mean sure we're gonna get a lot from that hopefully that yeah. we know of yeah um but in the Rick movies, we which we don't even know about, so mm. I can't say anything on that. But yeah. like, that's just two platforms that that you're going to give CRM information on. There's a ton of shit you could do. Yeah, they just I, I think the real reason is, and I, I know Scott Gimple has explained it. We've done other videos on it. Is they they don't want to saturate CRM in this and just over and make it the focal point of all three shows. Yeah, they don't want to take away from fear. Exactly now. CRM is a part of the entire universe in all three shows. We know that. But they don't want to make CRM the focal point in the, in The Walking Dead. They don't want to make the focal point in fear. They can sprinkle some stuff in, like I've said before, but it's not going to be the main focus. And I think they just don't want it to be so saturated where it's just, you know, the overall game plan, which is kind of what we'll talk about here soon. So yeah. here's another aspect. Would CRM or why CRM could attack Morgan's group, right, in Season 7, potentially. Well, um, as the showrunners have said, that uh, he has promised that complications will come as a result of Al and Isabel's decision. So if Al has to go on the run from CRM, now that puts our group in danger because if CRM finds out about that... You mean Isabel has to go on the run? Isabel, excuse me, Mm -hmm. yes. Isabel, you know, defects from CRM and they find out, they're going to find out where she's at, She's with Alan and our you, Morgan's group. Boom. You would think if they're if they're smart enough, not to say that they're not, right. they would down that helicopter on purpose mm-hmm. and kill you it. know conceal the fact that she's running away and not make it so obvious or but ki- or kill her. Maybe CRM finds out beforehand yeah. that right. she took the survivors. Yeah, you would do something like you know put out a mayday. Well, put out a mayday call somewhere way out that you know in an unknown area. Um, put her. 
uniform on an already dead walker and like just make, Al did. make it believe that she died. Like Ex- Al did. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's another interesting thing is now that um, Isabel has decided to help our group, now more people are going to be asking questions about CRM and the secrecy of what's going on, especially Al. Yeah. So the more people that know about this, because that was one thing Isabel did not want. Like, you know, she opened up to Al, but she said, do not come follow me. And if you see anyone wearing this uniform, you freaking run, right? So now Isabel has decided, okay, I'm going to help out. I'm not, I'm not showing my face right now, but these people now know that there's a helicopter still flying around in the, in the in this apocalypse. Yeah. They're going to ask questions. And so the more people want to know, depending on how much information she gives, that leaves some uh, some holes open yeah. for them to be attacked. Um, I got another theory um, to add to this. You know, why would CRM be the villain? Why would CRM attack Morgan's mm-hmm. group? And that is based on, on the events that happened at the end of the season. Like, mm-hmm. CRM is a powerful organization. Um, yeah. And I think I said this in, in the end of our review. Yeah, it was kind of our, rea- our reaction review. Yeah, yeah. like... Um, when they see that a nuclear event was set off, mm-hmm. um, that's going to set them off. Right. So they are yeah. either going to want to find the group that did it and destroy yep. them for mm-hmm. fear that they'll do it again. Yeah. Or they will want the technology themselves or the Confiscate. weapons themselves. Yeah. So they're definitely going to want to find out who did this. And no matter what, like they know where ground zero is at. They could easily find that out. You kill yeah. anyone in ground zero. Exactly. Yeah. We kind of thought, yeah, we talked about that in a review and, we were kind of like, well, depends on who's in the area in Texas. Yes, Texas is a big state. Um, Isabel may not be the only one checking drop points. And depending on the surrounding states around it and how far that you could see the blasts, CRM could see it, take a video of it and be like, well, what the hell was that? And they could decipher, okay, that was this many miles away in this direction. Fly a helicopter over there and see what's up. Yeah. You know? oh, and, and here's another wrinkle is that... Um, CRM is fully aware of who Teddy's group is, right? You have to assume that because Teddy's group left messages for them to see as they were flying by. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Teddy's group yep. stole stuff from them. They did. They stole some so stuff. So I'm sure they CRM... Killed us. They killed one of their soldiers. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. sure CRM is aware of Teddy's right. group. That's true. And yeah. they could probably assume um, if Isabel you know, defects that Morgan's group is Teddy's group. Right. And they could also be picking up on radio traffic, so they could be listening to everything if they want to be. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. They could probably already know about what's going on, and they just assume that, um, okay, well, this other group tried to stop them, and they didn't, but they could still be involved somehow. Yeah. We don't know. Um, And kind of the last point, we did a video on this a while back. You know, are they, would they really be giving us the CRM stuff, are, are they really planning a massive crossover event? That's been speculated for quite it's some time. It's been speculated for quite some time. A lot of people, we've I've seen it in our comments, I've seen it on Twitter, where they would love to see a CRM Commonwealth, like, just battle. Like, our group will become the Commonwealth, kind of like similar in the comic books, and then just go head-to-head with CRM and fight to the death to rule the United States, I guess. <laughs> I don't I know. Guess. I mean, I, I'm all for it. it just you need depends a lot more on, information to you, do that. Yeah. You need more time. I mean, you look, need, you need a movie. Yeah. Uh, probably a few spinoffs, another show. Yeah. Some spin- um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then a, you could, then at that, at that point, you could probably do a movie on the freaking battle or conflict. Yeah. You can make it like a two or three part Dude, movie. The possibilities are endless. They are. And I'm sure that these, you know, Scott Gimple, you know, and his plans of what he wants to do after the main show ends. I mean, plenty of spinoffs and stuff, but, you know, the only spinoffs that we know of is kind of, you know, with Carol and Daryl, um, the the tales of The Walking Dead going back to some of our old characters, but they haven't mentioned anything yet if they're doing plans with spinoffs of, like, CRM type stuff. Um, you know, other things with, Rick, with Andrew Lincoln. We don't know if Rick Grimes is just going to be the only thing he's going to do. We have no idea. Yeah. Um, as you guys are watching this and I wanted to mention this is uh, it's going to be the end of June. So I think it, so what, what's, what's been going on is, you know, why we haven't gotten any Rick Grimes news kind of segueing off of Rick Grimes is because um, England is actually having a very bad time with COVID right now. And they have certain countries on a no travel list. And the United States is one of them. That's why Andrew Lincoln has not been able to come over here and start filming. Um, but I've, my, I've heard that it should be ending 
I think the end of this month. So basically almost like, well, you guys are watching this after in July. So it should be lifted. So hopefully we should get some news soon. Would that be United States banning travel? No, it's from England. No, England's taking the initiative. England's taking the initiative. Isn't that nice? Yeah. England's taking the initiative. Yeah. They are banning um, travel to the United States. So yeah, Um, yeah, they're having a hard time right now. That's crazy. Um, Yeah. So it's too bad. Soon we'll find some information um, about Rick Rimes. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, CRM, you know, a massive crossover event. I'd be down for it. Uh, I, I, I can't think of how it would work right now just yeah. because it's going to be so far in the future. But um, I don't, getting back to our main topic, do I see CRM being the main villain? They're already the main villain. Well, they, they really are across every yeah. single show. This is just six years before we know they're the villain. Yeah, exactly. Um, do I see them being the main villain in season seven of Fear? No. 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 Really. I don't think they're highlighted enough to be the villain. No. Right? They're, they're still in secrecy. They're, yeah. still, they're still secret. You know, now more people know about them because they were saved no. by one of them. But, I mean, we're yeah. not pulling a Game of no. Thrones here and flipping a villain in two episodes. Yeah. No. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah? 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 Vibes? Vibes. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they would have to do something like, okay, all of a sudden CRM just invades Texas and now they're the main villain. That would need a lot of setup. And people who are, I wouldn't, well, I mean, the most of fans of The Walking Dead are going to know about CRM, but it would just be very weird to just see, oh, now all of a sudden CRM is just flooding into Texas and they're gonna, they're the villain. No. I, I kind of would like that. It would be crazy. I mean, a mass reaction to a nuclear to a weapon, nuclear being, weapon? Yeah. Bombed, yeah. being dropped, mm-hmm. dude. Of course. Look, um, they had. We talked about this. They ha- they they would have had to have seen that. Mm-hmm. Um, as many helicopters Somewhere. and run and, and mission runs that they have, um, you know that missile hung in the air yeah. and coming down yep. and the blast. Like yeah. CRM saw that. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they have some type of. They have a lot of technology. They could probably see. They could probably see. Oh, a missile's been shot somewhere. They're tracking it. They're like, Dude, oh, it's in Texas. You open know what up I'm the premiere with yeah. Kublik getting a radio <laughs> call about a blast. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And then she sends her troops and cut. That's the only thing we see Maybe. or hear. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And then we see him later in the season or something. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's still up for grabs. I don't know if I really see him being as the main for season seven. You know, maybe just bits and pieces, but. Um, it's going to be interesting of what the villain could be. Is it more our, our group is, you know, or an other, other groups who are trying to survive this nuclear blast have kind of formed together and maybe blaming Morgan for letting this happen. And it's just people just wanting to attack them and cause they're pissed off. Yeah. I don't know, no. but let us know what you think guys. Um, you saw, you guys saw our strand video. That was a good one. Uh, we don't really think Strand's going to become a villain, but he could just go to the dark side a little bit. But I don't think he's going to do harm to our group. He just may want to just chill and drink bourbon and build his own kind of army and yeah. see what happens. So, but let us know what you think in the comments about CRM and season seven of Fear the Walking Dead, guys. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned for more videos of this. I am Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're in our coronation. We're, We're out. out.